Hey there, it's Amber from youneedanamber.com and I am so glad that you are here today. Before I get into the video, would you go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button? I post videos all the time and I never want you to miss anything. So go ahead and click that big red subscribe button, click the little bell and you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Today on the channel, we are going to dive into HoneyBook. HoneyBook is an amazing CRM, invoicing system, scheduling system. It's like this all in one that you never knew that you needed. This is the platform that I love, know, use. I'm actually a HoneyBook educator and I want to dive in to do a quick tutorial for you today. In our business, we need all sorts of appointments. You'll have your discovery call appointments, then you have your regular ongoing meeting appointments. I personally have a YouTube interview appointment, but today I need to add a new appointment. So I'm going to go in and then show you exactly how I make a new appointment in my HoneyBook system. The reason that you want to make appointments like this is because it's completely unnecessary to go back and forth in emails to say, hey, does Monday at 2 p.m. work for you? No, it doesn't. How about Tuesday at 9 a.m.? No, that doesn't work for me either. There's no need to send a thousand emails like that. All you have to do is send a quick link to say, hey, here's my scheduler. Go ahead and pick a time that works for you. You are giving a really great customer service to your audience and they don't have to deal with the back and forth of all of the appointments over and over and over. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm gonna dive right into my honey book and let's make a brand new appointment. Okay, so here we are in the back end of my honey book. This is exactly what it looks like when I log in. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a brand new appointment. I'm gonna come up here to this tools button and when I hover over it, it brings up this whole new menu and I'm going to click on the scheduling button. So as you can see, I already have two sessions already booked in. I have my YouTube interviews and I have a 30 minute virtual call. This is like my discovery call, but I need a longer call. I need a 90 minute call. So I'm going to come over here to this new session type click into that and I'm going to choose the type of session that it is. It's going to be a zoom video. And then I'm just going to go in and fill out all of the information. Okay, perfect. So I made the type of call that it is. It's a video call on zoom. I picked my time zone and the duration of my call. This gave some quick instructions and then I want to send a reminder an hour before and a day before. Next, I'm clicking availability. This is when I get to decide when a good time for me is. So again, the beauty of sending a link like this is that your client gets to choose something that works for them, which gives them a great customer service option. But for me, I get to choose the parameters before they ever get to see my options. So this allows me to live in my boundaries and allows them to have a great customer service experience. I mean, win-win, right? So here is how you change the availability in your HoneyBook. So for example, I don't work on Fridays, so I know I want to take out this Friday option. So I'm going to click edit and remove availability, apply to all Fridays, click save. I'm going to do the same thing for Mondays. I actually don't take any appointments on Mondays because that's when I, you know, like get my work done. So remove availability, save. I also don't take meetings on Tuesdays. Why? Because that's when I do all of my client calls. I do all my client calls on Tuesdays. So I don't do any appointments there either. I'm going to click edit, remove availability, save. Perfect. Now I know that Wednesday from nine to five and Thursday from nine to five are the boundaries that I have set up so that my client chooses a time that works for them and for me. The next thing I'm gonna do is fill out these, uh, these options that HoneyBook gives me. So a buffer is how much time I want before or after a call. If you don't want your calls to like bump up right against each other, you might wanna set a buffer. Um, for me, I don't, 
I don't care about that, so I'm going to undo that. A minimum notice is how far in advance someone can make a meeting. I'm going to say two days. That's great. And then custom increments. This is how often you want your availability to appear to the client. So if you only want it to appear at the top of the hour, like only 1, only 2, only 3 p.m., then you would make this 60 minutes. I don't mind if someone books an appointment at like 1030 as opposed to 10, uh, like the, the top of the hour. So I'm just going to leave it uh, custom increments. They can book within 30 minutes. Click next for confirmation. So this is the confirmation email that the client receives. As you can see, this is not editable, right? I can't, I can't click any of this because this is going along with the information that the client has chosen based on your boundaries. So that is perfect. Um, it tells them about the session date, time, location, instructions, and then it will send an automatic confirmation email and allow the client to schedule and cancel. So now I'm just gonna click save and finish. And my session is created, yay. Okay, so now you have this link. This is the custom link to this specific section. So like I said earlier, I have three sessions. I have my 30 minute session, I have a YouTube interview and now this one. So now I have three sessions. This specific link is specific to this session. So I can copy it, put it in an email and they can choose their time. Or if you wanna go a step beyond, go into the back end of your WordPress website and make a pretty link so that any time you wanna type out the link to this specific session, it's not this big convoluted link. It's something really simple, like you need an amber.com forward slash 90 minutes or something like that. So you can take this link and put it into a pretty link and make it very, very easy to send out in the future. Okay, so that's exactly what you do. I hope this video was super helpful. I hope that you can see the benefit of creating a brand new appointment like this, sending out a link one time and not having to go back and forth with all of the emails. It's super helpful, super professional, and amazing time saver. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I really appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.